Good morning. Okay, so it's 645. We're walking. We got started this morning around 630. And let's see, stopped in the shelter last night. Rained on and off through the night. With the air is very full of moisture. So everything's a little bit damp this morning. One thing I don't think I've mentioned the last couple days, my uh, I, I you sleep with an air pillow, and also I use my puffy in a mid layer because I'm a side sleeper, so I need some more head support. So my air pillow started leaking, and I put it in the bathtub just to see if it was something I could patch. As we were leaving town last time, and there's a video somewhere. <laughs> oh look, it's by the stuff. It's all down. The what did you, you do to the pillow? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I wonder if my short beard, like... <laughs> it has like 30 holes in it. I'm not even sure how it happened. So, I'm still trying to use it, but it's only good for like an hour. Needless to say, I didn't sleep great last night, but I did get some sleep. Uh, also, just being in the shelter. We were kind of, when we were on the top level of the shelter, it was kind of, kind of uh, awkward, I guess. Moss almost stepped on a guy's head, but didn't, so he's still alive. Uh, my quilt slid off of me and down to the lower level at like 2 a.m. Luckily, it didn't even wake up the person that it fell on. But anyway, we're glad to be moving. And I think all these things illustrate one thing. We're better at hotels than shelters. So that's where we're headed. Here we are blue blazing again. There's Simba up there on Pride Rock. Climb up there and see what it looks like. I'm up here near the end of this. And look at the view down there. Wow, what a picture. I'm just sitting here on the side of the trail for a minute. Um, waiting for moss because we've got something coming up that I've seen on a bunch of YouTube videos um, so I'll wait and we'll go look at that together now I'm telling you this stretch the last few days there's just so much cool stuff like either history or just iconic landmarks um, so it's been good to do, do a bit a little less mileage so anyway just thought I'd also take this time to check in on some things and maybe talk about some things that uh, trail life and whatnot. So one thing I don't think I've talked about lately, I was having the problem with my left knee hurting a little bit. Um, and I've actually, since the day, I think it's been two weeks ago or maybe even 15, just over two weeks ago that I zeroed at Bill and Rhonda's house. And after that, cross fingers and hoping this stays the case, um, the day I left Bill's, I had one little twinge in my knee, and that was it, and I've not felt it one thing since. It's been perfect. So I'm hoping that that was just something that uh, strengthened up. I'm good to go. My shoes, they're, they need to be replaced. Um, I've got probably, with all the side trails and town walking, well over 600 miles on these trail runners. Um, and I've probably got another at least 75 or 100 miles before my parents get here, and they're bringing my new shoes and new socks um i'm still wearing the flamingo shorts it's odd a lot of people that i've been around a, a, quite a few times early on didn't recognize me after i shaved my beard except for the flamingo shorts so i don't know they're they're growing on me but i do have a good pair of running shorts coming so i think maybe i'll just carry two pair of shorts for a bit so i have a camp pair and um and a hiking pair let's see what else my body's good, especially lately with a few less miles. Um, I really don't even have any soreness, or I try to remember to stretch, but nothing's really tight. Everything, everything is going wonderfully well with, with as far as my, my body goes. Um, so let's hope that continues. The gear that needs to re be replaced, I think I've covered this. My parents are bringing replacements and things, uh, and I should see them. Today is, I think today's Thursday, so I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I should see them in the evening, five five full days from now. So basically have some uh, good gear stuff. All my gear should be back to how I, nearly where I started or better replacement stuff by then. 
Um, one other thing I've really noticed the last week, I smell horribly. Between the shoes and the socks, just constantly being wet, dry, wet, dry, and being wet with dirty mud, and just the constant miles in them, they stink. I had one of my pairs of socks completely soaked. I have two pair of hiking socks, and they've been strapped on the back of my backpack. They're pretty much dry now, but if I turn too quick and they waft in the breeze, oh my gosh, I smell them, it's horrible. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some laundry done today. Let's see, what else? Oh, one thing that's just kind of interesting on trail, sometimes you'll be around people for a couple weeks, every day, and then all of a sudden, somehow your your schedules get off and you don't see them again for a month or six weeks or longer and then all of a sudden they're there again uh, but for the most part there's just not many people out here lately um, the last several nights let's see two nights ago we walked in sorry lost my makeshift tripod there um, two nights ago we walked into Dahlgren campground and were shocked to see like seven tents in there I don't know if any of them were through hikers. If they were, we didn't see any tags on any bags and we did not recognize anybody, anyone else. The few people we talked to were all section hikers and mostly going southbound. Um, last night, the shelter we stayed at, um, a guy named Matrix was there and I was around him on and off well over a month ago and hadn't seen him since. And then we've, the last couple of days, we've kind of been bouncing back and forth with him. This morning, I think he passed us once when we were at a viewpoint, and then I think he pulled off at a shelter. I'm ahead of him now, um, but I'm sure he'll be, we're all going to town today. So anyway, that's that. Uh, let's see what else to talk about. As far as like the groups moving around, it's interesting out here, because even though there's so few people, you know a lot of people. And like I said, you may not see them for a while, and then you run into them again and then all of a sudden you, you're around completely new people that you've never met and maybe you've been around the same places the last three months but have never seen them um a lot of people at this point pretty much everybody that we've been around are pretty much hiking alone or in like a two-person pair um you can come on through all right sorry for that pause um matrix actually just passed so Anyway, what I was saying, pretty much everybody now is by themselves. I've not seen any groups of any more than two people that like plan together or stay together. Um, and that's just pretty much how it's been for the last month or so. I know there are groups of people. I think all four, actually I know all the girls are still together that, you know, my normal family that I've been with for over 500 miles. I think they're pretty much still staying together every day. But everybody around the bubbles I've been around lately, no one's in big groups. Um, a lot of times it's individuals. They're, everybody plans by themselves about their resupplies, their town stops and all that. And then you know people in the, in the bubble. So when you go to town, you, you may meet up with people for dinner or split a hotel room or something like that. Um, for the last probably the last week pretty much 24 7 other than when we were during the day when we we're bouncing around not hiking right together moss and i have been together um we make a pretty good team she's um her pace is different than mine so we balance each other out and making sure we're getting enough miles but not going too fast that we're skipping all the the cool stops so that's been really really good it's good to have her along too because have somebody good to have have a beer with or have dinner with in town and i think i finally hear her uh her trekking poles clinking on the rocks coming this way so as long as that's her we're gonna head up to high rock ledges and see those see this in a minute i saw a um uh, a description in a gut hook comment that said that this is the ultimate um uh, what, what did it say this is ultimate example of old school entitlement so let's go look at that. I rock ledges. Check this out. I normally hate graffiti, but I guess it's just a thing here. Here's the view from the top of the graffiti covered high rock ledges. Look at this view. It's amazing. We made it 
made it to Penmar Park. How awesome. I've seen this on so many videos. All right, in Penmar Park, what do you think we're doing? Swinging! Swinging! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Max? Oops. <laughs> I almost fell out. <laughs> All right, last view here of Penmar Park. It's an awesome view. We gotta keep walking. We're almost to the Mason Dixon line. All right, we have made it. Check this out. This is really exciting. So, a couple of things. One, we've made it to Pennsylvania. And two, we've made it from the south to the north. We've done, I mean, it's not quite half yet, but we are now in the north. Check this out. I'm so excited. The only thing is we're supposed to be able to drink a beer at the Mason-Dixon line, and we didn't pack any beers out. So no beer. We'll have to have one in town. There's a mama and a fawn right here. They were coming towards the trail, and the mama saw us and about faced. This baby thinks we got formula yeah. or something. Hey, Alright, we're headed to Walmart then the hotel. Here we are at Walmart. We just resupplied. This is all of all of our gear in a cart with a couple bags of resupply. Right now we're sitting here eating some what kind of pretzels are these? Auntie and Auntie Anne's pretzels. That's also sold at the subway. Then we're gonna make our way to the hotel. We gotta figure out how we're getting there. It's like three miles from here and we're not walking. We made it to the Days Inn. So after standing at Walmart for a little bit, um, we were trying to get an Uber and there were no Ubers available. It kept saying that they were searching for an Uber car and never could find an Uber. So we stood there for a bit. Uh, we made conversation with a few people. No one mentioned uh, offering a ride. So finally some nice looking young girl came walking out of the store. And I said, hey, are you going towards Days Inn? She said, I have no idea where Days Inn is. I said, well, can you give us a ride there anyway? And she was very nice, took us, brought us here. So here we are in the room and um, the room is kind of, the outside of the hotel is dated. The inside is way better than the outside. So, and I keep saying hotel, it's definitely a motel, like where the door goes to the outside from the room. All right, so we're here, time to start showering and laundry and all the things. I'll probably talk to you tonight. Why are you laughing? All the things. Moss loves when I say all the things. I'm not really <laughs> sure why, but, but we gotta do all the things. So talk to you later. I'm wearing some new clothes. More about that later. Uh, right now, we just walked down to Wayne's Burger. We're going to eat dinner. All right, back in the room. Dinner was great. Had a milkshake and a Reuben. So I said I was going to end the video telling you a little bit about the luxury items I bought. So the first part of the hike, I was just trying to get rid of stuff and carry as little as possible. However, now that it's been warm and like everything's humid and sticky, the really thin nylon of my quilt gets really like just sticky and feels horrible on my skin. And I, it, so I have to sleep in my shirt and I only carry one shirt, the one I hike in. So I decided at least for, for now, I got some clearance items at Walmart. They're really light and they're really cheap. So let me show you what I got. First, I got this, this really awesome shirt. And it's a Cobra Kai, like, you know, the, the Karate Kid sequel. Real thin, 
Um, and it's just like a cotton shirt. And then I also have some leggings that are like, I think they're actually women's. <laughs> the shirt was $3. And I think these pants were, um, were four dollars <laughs> and they are um i'm gonna have moss hold the camera so you and i'm gonna stand back so you can see they're like um what do you call those um Lace? like skort no what are they they're capris leggings. they're capris capri leggings. i got like some capri leggings <laughs> i'm not gonna be routinely wearing these around town or anything <laughs> but they're gonna be good for sleeping and i think they're gonna keep like that clammy stickiness off me and then also to just be nice to get to camp and put on like just a cool, dry, clean layer. So I'm gonna leave you for tonight with this ensemble, and I'll see you in the morning. Here's the Cobra Kai shirt. <laughs> and then these, um, these things are nice. They're like, uh, <laughs> they're really light. They probably don't weigh maybe five or six ounces. Maybe not that, maybe probably that much. So I'm looking forward to my new camp clothes. The worst part about this is Moss also bought camp clothes, and we bought the same pants. So mine are a lot bigger size because as you saw her dancing the other day, she's so thin now. <laughs> All right, have a good night, everybody. Good morning from the day's end. So it is 7.40. We have a shuttle supposed to pick us up at 7.45. All right, the shuttle showed up almost on time. And we are back in the woods, a couple minutes after 8 a.m. Beautiful little piece of pine forest. And we're almost to a road up here. And a southbound section hiker just told us a little bit back that there's trail magic up here. Apparently the guy has everything. He says grilling hot dogs and has a bunch of stuff. So we've made really good time the first two hours. Boss Moss has been running, so so I think we have time to go see what's going on at the Trail Magic. Wow, this is pretty. Check this out. This is beautiful. The perfect camp spot over there. Brand new bridges that we're on. We just had trail magic and I have way too much to eat for this early in the morning. And now here we are walking again. And let's see here. I think we still have about 13 miles to go today. Not too bad though. It's still, I honestly don't know what time it is. It's, I'm going to guess 1130. Maybe it's 11, maybe it's 1145. I think it's probably 1130-ish. Um, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, I don't think there's any big milestones today, but tomorrow there is. So anyway, hopefully there'll be some views or something, but right now it's just a beautiful trail and kind of open woods and loving life, except I ate too much. Man, the shelters up in the middle part of the trail here are nice. Check this out. It's a nice sunken fire ring. Two separate shelters with like a picnic table gazebo in the middle. Looks like a nice tenting and hammocking area. Oh, these are the famous ones. Check this out. So there's two shelters. This one says non-snoring. And this one says snoring how funny is that now check this out they even have some roses on the table up here and my goodness they're even like clothes and tent drying racks wow this is a beautiful little shelter area huh On another blue blaze side trail. Look at this view from Chimney Rock. Or rocks. I'm going to zoom out and show you the rock come up on. Hey, look at the water. 
There are Moss's trekking poles down there. We just climbed up that rock face. It's not as bad as I think it looks steeper on camera. I mean, we could slide down it. It's no cakewalk, but it's not that bad. Made it to Caledonia State Park. Check this out. The cool camping area over there. It's nice and deep too. A couple feet anyway. Mm, beautiful park. Still got about two and a half miles to go after we leave here. All right, it's 7.20 p.m. and we're pretty decisive. That's, <laughs> that's one thing since we've been hiking together. We make a lot of decisive decisions. Um, it's 7.20, we have no freaking clue where we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> we got to Caledonia State Park. It's a beautiful place. We thought we had plenty of time. We soaked our feet in the water, <laughs> got some water, filled our drinking water, and we thought we could camp here. And then after some exploring, we find out it's this beautiful place, but it's all day use. So you got to be out of here by sunset. But there's lots of places where one could pitch a tent-like object <laughs> after sunset and may not get caught. Um, there's a chance of rain tonight. There's also a couple of big pavilions with sides on them where one could pitch a air mattress-like object <laughs> and maybe not get caught. So we had all these ideas and then there's just people start showing up here and there. Then there's a ranger walking around. So we thought, well, maybe with mace, with mace. <laughs> bear spray. So um, we actually never met the ranger. We're just making that part up. So our plan was we were just gonna eat at a picnic table, eat dinner, so we've already cooked and eaten, and then figure our lives out then. Um, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So now we've decided to go backwards <laughs> because we think it's pretty close and we can get like a pay campsite. And it's gonna be $15 a piece, but they have hot showers. And you know, we like the hot showers. So that's what we're trying to do now. And then looking ahead, it, when my parents are coming and kind of where I was wanting to be. We've got a couple more kind of easy-ish days. So I think we can do this today and then just do like 15 tomorrow and then less than 15 the next day. Tomorrow we're still going to get to the halfway point and that's about it. So I don't know what time it will be. It may be dark by the time we find a camp spot. So I will probably leave you with a couple photos. And if I don't come back, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you good night right now. All right, we made it to a regular campground with like a bunch of big, big um, RVs. We met uh, some van lifers who through hiked in 2017. Uh, talked to them for a bit. Got a hot shower tonight, and um, we didn't fully figure out this campground situation. Tents are pitched, and we are ready for bed. So, all right, good night. Look forward to seeing y'all join me next time.